Christmas with peace, content, and friendly messages. At this time, let us hope that the boon of peace, which we in this country and in the whole Western Hemisphere enjoy, under the providence of God, may likewise be vouchsafed to all nations and all peoples. We desire peace. We shall work for peace. We covet neither the lands nor the possessions of any other nation or people's on earth. Yes, we of the Western world, who have borne witness by works as well as by words to our devotion to the cause of peace, ought to take heart tonight from the atmosphere of hope and promise in which the representatives of 21 free republics of the Americas are now assembled in the Pan American Conference in Lima, Peru. I consider it a happy circumstance that these deliberations will be successfully concluded soon after the birthday of the Prince of Peace. It is indeed a holy season in which to work for goodwill among men. We derive new strength, new courage for our work from the spirit of Christmas. We do not expect a new heaven and a new earth overnight but in our own land and in other lands, wherever men of goodwill listen to our appeal, we shall work as best we can with the instruments at hand to banish hatred, greed, and covetousness from the heart of mankind. And so the pledge that I have so often given to my own countrymen I renew before all the world on this glad Christmas Eve that I shall do whatever lies within my power to hasten the day foretold by Isaiah when men shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. We will now hear a group of familiar Christmas carols. <laughs> 